Hi, my name's Kat, and in this video, Reddit has been asked, what should we as a society stop making people feel insecure about? Being quiet. You never say anything. It's such a weird way to both draw attention to someone and give them nothing to work with. The way someone laughs. This world is cold and unforgiving. Laughing makes it all a little less heavy. Who gives a duck what it sounds like? Your choice of career. Being wrong. It's okay to be wrong. Just be open to learning instead of doubling down or getting angry. Making any kind of mistake. Social media has created an illusion that everyone has to be perfect. Having acne. It doesn't mean you're dirty or don't wash your face. It's simply a skin condition some people get and some people don't. Needing mental health treatment. Baldness. It doesn't seem to be as common for it to happen naturally with women, but for men and women, it can be a really sore subject, especially if it starts happening at a fairly early age. You could be in control of every other aspect of your life, but if you start losing hair early, it can take the wind out of your sails. Edit. Wow, thanks for the gold and all the supportive comments. Seeing the responses here has shown me that there are more positive perceptions on bald slash boarding people than I thought. Bowel movements. As some with IBS, it happens a lot. Yes, I was in the restaurant for 20 minutes. There's nothing I can do about it. It's much harder on me than it is on you. Excitement. Let people be excited about shit. Let them like things you don't. Let people express powerful, positive emotions and cry. And get deep into how to show anger respectfully. I'm a cleaner and this. I've literally had people say to me after I tell them, so, you studying or what are you looking to do? I'd never clean toilets. And the worst one was, so you just haven't found your dream job yet? Like, no, Greg. I'm OCD and have ADD. This is my dream job. I'm on my feet all day. I get to make things perfect and the satisfaction is incredible for my mental health. I'm able to support myself and my son and I also get to help the elderly and disabled. Who wouldn't want to have that chance on a daily basis? Also... Clean your duck in toilet, Greg. It's grotty as hell. Buying condoms. Please, it's really important. Small roosters. Yes, it's tiny. I get it. Being poor. It's not a choice. I'm doing the best I can. And just because I receive food stamps or any other type of assistant doesn't make me a point of sale. I see a lot of hate for poor people. Like we're supposed to fit in this stereotype with dirt on our face and stained up clothes. Isn't so far-fetched to think my designer clothes came from a thrift store, my nails are pressed on from a dollar store, and my iPhone is so old that it still has a headphone jack. Where you should be success-wise at a certain age. I'm 23, graduated college, but couldn't get a job in my field right after graduating. I'm living with my parents to save money on rent, working at a restaurant and growing my skills that I learned from college, whilst working on myself. I'm severely insecure and realised recently that for the past 10 years I have been constantly striving for a level of perfection that is absolutely impossible and calling myself a failure for it. I woke up to the realisation that I was getting serious anxiety and was limiting everything I did. It's just that I'm not exactly ready for the world of adults. I'm terrified and unsure and it doesn't help hearing people despair over how they ruined their lives when they aren't that old. The pressure to get somewhere in two years demotivates me sometimes. It's something I'm fixing, but I don't like hearing people force time limits on others and reprimand them if they never fulfil it or haven't. I saw a post here a few days ago asking 25-year-olds how they screwed up in their lives or something along those lines, as if 25 is the deadline for achievements. It's good to have deadlines, but everybody grows at their own pace and has roadblocks in their lives that slow them down. Heck, the human brain apparently doesn't stop developing at 25 and grows even after 60 years old. Some people genuinely do try, but get so discouraged that they give up and get ridiculed for not doing anything. I only learned recently that my 30-year-old cousin just got over a terrible drug addiction that cost him his job and almost his livelihood for years. But he got out, finished college, and is a changed man getting better jobs and doing better. There's always time. Edit. Thanks for the awards. I'm glad to see people agree. Menstruation. Honestly, not that scary. And can we normalise men buying menstrual products for their partners? We all know it's not for you, and to be honest, you'll probably earn brownie points for doing it. I agree with every single one of them things. 
And there's so much more to go through as well. So please comment down below if you'd like a part two. And comment down below which one that you agree with the most. Because I feel like the one I agree with the most is that life doesn't stop. You don't have to stop at a certain age. You're growing constantly. And like that person said, 25 is not the end game. Like you've got so many years ahead of you. You do not have to achieve something by the age of 25. Achieve it at 60. Achieve it at 100. Anyway, thanks for listening, guys. This video is sponsored by me. Sweet Mouthful Mixes brings pick and mix sweets straight to your door. Choose up to 10 scoops of your favourite sweets or pick a pre-packed bag. Sweet Mouthful Mixes has a 5 star hygiene rating and full PPE is worn whilst making the bags. With over 50 sweets to choose from, you're guaranteed to find something you like. Treat yourself, you've earned it. Get 20% off with code REDDIT.